What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm bringing you guys another NCAA 14 Dynasty featuring my team, the Ohio Bobcats. And today we have number eight, Kent State, who is controlled by Air Jones. His link will be in the description. And about him, he was number two last week, but he lost the best act around who I beat. So if I beat him, I get the MAC championship for sure. So we're going to try and do that today. As you see right here, it's complete to Waters. And Waters is down the field for a gain of 38 yards. And we're in enemy territory looking to score. What was Air Jones' coverage doing? I don't know. But I took advantage of it. Now second and eight right here. I'm looking over the middle to Chase Cochran. Inside the red zone right now. First and 10. Gain of 12. And now first and 10 right here. We're going to try and get another one right here. Hand off the blanket ship. He's got the edge. And look at the open spaces as he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio. We got a quick one right there. It's 7 nothing. So now it is Air Jones' turn. I did a little scouting on him before the game. And I got to say, his running back is really good. Uh, his running back is number one in the Heisman polls. So I'm going to try and slow him down today. Mr. Dre Archer, number one right there. As you see, he's getting the handoff. And he fumbles the football, but his quarterback picks it up. He's past midfield to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. And oh, my God. That was just bad luck on my end. You know, he, he, he took advantage of it. So that's really all I can say about that. So second and one, handoff to Archer. And Archer's got some room, and he's going to get near the end zone, down at the one-inch line pretty much. So first and goal, next play. Quarterback Fisher is going to hand it off to the fullback, and he's going to power his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Kent State. It is now 7-7. Seven to seven. This is going to be a good game, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you what. This game right here might just be game of the year. Tettleton back to throw. He's looking down the field, and it is almost picked off. That was a bad throw on my part. I should have looked more towards, you know, middle of the field. But Jones is going to get the ball back. Look at him trying to change the play. He's going to hand it off to his running back again. And, oh, he's breaking a couple tackles, but he does get the first down. Now, third and two, we're going to see what we could do. Try and stop his running back or whatever he's going to try and do. He's back to throw. He pitches it off, and he's going absolutely nowhere. He thought he could be sneaky with that play. I ain't having none of that. So, we're going to get the ball back. Now, it's second quarter. Still tied at seven. And I'm going to change the play a little bit now. As you see, Tettleton back to throw, dumping it off to the running back, blanket ship. And he's going to get some yards and a first down for Ohio. And we're going to try to put up some points on the board to take the lead back. Now, first and 10, next play. Hand off to blanket ship. Look at the open space he has. He's going to get himself a first down after a gain of 11. We're near enemy territory. Now, second and one, we just passed enemy territory. Hand off the blanket ship again. And look at the space he has. Oh, if I would have cut it outside, now that I look at it again, if I would have cut to the outside, man, he would have had some yards. Oh, my God. Why did I not cut outside? But Tettle to back the throw. Hitch route to Foster Archie, a curl route. And he, we are inside the red zone now. Looking to score. Second and three now. We're going to try and do just that. Hand off to Blanket Ship. Blanket Ship just gets enough for the first. And now it's first and goal for the Ohio Bobcats. Now second and goal. Tettleton back to throw. Gets the completion to Foster. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio. It is now 14-7, Ohio. As we take the lead right back. But now it's Jones' turn. First down. He's back to throw. He's looking underneath. He's got the receiver right there for the catch. And he tries to hurdle over my guy. But there's three guys right there to tackle him up. And now it's first and ten for Kent State again. He's back to throw. Looking. Looking. And he can't avoid the pressure as Barber is right there to get the sack. I think that's like number 16 or 17 sacks for him this season. He's been beasting. Third and 19. He's back to throw again. Looking deep. And it's batted away. Oh, wow. If we get a score here, we could really take advantage of this opportunity. Minute and 15 seconds left in the first half. Tettleton back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. And it's almost picked off. Bad throw on my end. And he's going to get the ball back with a minute and two seconds left. So first and 10 for Kent State. Over the middle. And he's doing these little underneath throws that I, I just didn't stop all game long. So that's my fault. I should have prepared better. But first and 10. Kent State back to throw. He is going to get the completion, and look at that. He's getting those underneath throws to work beautifully. Jones is doing a pretty good job with those underneath throws, not throwing past the marker. And it seemed like every time that he did, it almost got picked off. So, I mean, I can't blame him. 
So he's back to throw again. He's throwing it down the field, and he actually gets this one, and he's now inside the red zone. First and 10. Well, it was at the 11-yard line. I don't know why they just didn't call it first and goal. It was like at the, I don't know, 10-and-a-half-yard line. But he does get in the end zone right here. Touchdown, Kent State. It is now 14-all. 10 seconds left. I'm going to try and get a quick one, try and pull a fast one on Jones. Tettleton back to throw. He's looking. Gets the completion to Foster, and he gets out of bounds immediately. Six seconds left in the first half. Now the next play. We're going to see if we can get in field goal range. Tettleton back to throw. Gets a quick completion to Chase Cochran. And as soon as I got down, I called that timeout immediately. So I want to get that field goal. Try and take that quick 17-14 lead. And let's see if we can do that. The kick is up. And it is good. 17 to 14 as we go into halftime. Now, second half just beginning. It's Jones's turn. He's back to throw. He's looking. He's oh, he's gonna get sacked, but he fumbles the ball and he recovers his own fumble again. Oh my god, he fumbled the ball at least four times this game and recovered every single one of them. And I was just getting frustrated. But you see right there, he gets the completion. Second and 21. Now it's third and one. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what I can do on defense to stop him. He hands it off, and he does get the first down right here. That's bad defense on my part. I should have seen the run coming since it was third and short. But second and three right here. We're going to see what he can do again. He's back to throw. He's looking. He's looking, and he dumps it off to Archer. And look at the space he has. And he had the sideline, but he steps out of bounds. Oh, no. He could have had a touchdown on that one. Who knows? But second and 12. We're going to see what he can do again. He's going to play action or handoff this time, and he's going to get nailed right there on that play. He got absolutely clobbered. RIP. Third and six right here. Quarterback's back to throw. He's looking, and he barely gets it off, so it's now fourth and six. And uh, they're going to go for it this time. They're not going to punt the ball away and because I think it's like too short for a punt, too long for a field goal. So let's see what he can do. Oh, he gets sacked. I get the ball back, so I get the advantage again. We're going to see if we could do something with it. Tettleton back to throw, and... And that was a bad throw on my part, but I'm just going to try and play defense at this point. Third down and one for Kent State. He hands it off to his running back, and he barely gets enough for the first down. Oh, my God. Now third down and eight. We're going to see if we can stop him again. Five wide receivers set. This is something different. I haven't seen this all year long, but I do play against it pretty well. I make the stop on third down and eight, so it's fourth down and two, and he's gonna go for it. Hopefully, we can stop him. I have like I've sent like five blitzers. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do exactly, but we find out right here. He hands it off to his fullback, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Kent State. It's 21-17. Air Jones. Now I'm handed it off on third down and one, and I just get enough for the first down. Oh my god, we are in the fourth quarter now, and this game is close. Now third down and 12, we're going to try and get a first down. I'm back to throw with Tettleton, and he's looking, and he that was good coverage by Jones. That's all I got to say. That was good coverage. I had nowhere to throw it, so I ended up throwing it somewhere. But um, fourth down and 12, and yes, I'm showing this punt for a reason. Look how good this punt was. I mean, just look at it. Bounces it at the 21, and it stops at like the three and a half yard line. That's a really good punt, and we're gonna try and get the ball back. So we're handed, he's handed it off right here, and oh my God, where is the defense? And they can't even get him past. They can't even contain him past the first down marker. So he ends up getting a first down right there. 3:30 left. He's winding down the clock. Smart move on him, but I cannot make the stops when they matter most, and this might end up costing me. I still have all three of my timeouts, but now I have one on third and seven, and he gets another first down. I was hoping he could drop that ball, and he gets another first down, but not another third down right here. He gets another completion, and that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. I lost by four, and uh, this was a great game. None of us gained more than 300 yards on offense. We both held each other to under 300 yards on offense. Great defensive battle, and uh, as I always say, at every single one of my videos thank you for watching if you're a first time viewer of myself please subscribe also subscribe to air jones and uh also subscribe to my second channel old school sin link will be in the description but until next time my name is sim with vengeance and i am the mayor of jam city and i am out of here peace